Hello, little interesting video for anybody out there with Perkins engine. They're great engines, I love them. Easy to work on, but sometimes these are a lot of pain in the ass. Anyway, about a month ago I noticed water in my oil was all milky. Um, I did some test that told me I have a bad head gasket. Pulled the head off, get it resurfaced, check for cracked and everything. While I did that, I pulled my injectors, send it off, cleaned it up, rebuilt it. There was nothing wrong with them, but they were old. After I put it back together, uh, when I pulled the head, it's the old gasket. It looks decent. I mean, you see the spot over here. But it, I don't think it was a head problem. But I'm glad I did it because it was old. I don't see any water marks or on the piston or anything when I pulled it. So I wasn't sure after that it was a head gasket. So I put the head gasket head together, ran it for an hour. Get the milky, chocolate milky all again. And called a couple mechanics. They told me I put the head back on wrong. I didn't torque it enough, all that stuff. But I was pretty sure I did it right. I torqued it right. So I looked around and noticed the water pump. This is the water pump. Is what you see from the front of the motor. I noticed this was going in the crankshaft, the gear for the water pump. So I pulled the water pump out. Goes like this and this goes to the crankshaft. First I noticed the o-ring here was all dry rotted. So I pulled that out with the press there's one right here and one inside, two inside. And as you see, it all dry right at two. So what was going on is water from the water pump was going in my crank. As you see right here too. And it was going down in my oil pan and mixing up the oil made it look like that was a head gasket i'm gonna go and clean this up change my old again and give you an update